Engineers around the nation and the world are watching what's happening right now in Florida. They hope people take notice so it doesn't happen again. Fox 13's Max Roth joins us in studio with an in-depth report. Max. Yeah, you know, Kelly and Bob, as we just heard, it will be a long time before we have any official finding of what caused the catastrophic collapse. But there is a man in Utah who's been working for years to understand how to build and maintain major structures to avoid just this. University of Utah civil and engineering professor Chris Pantelides has found three ways concrete and steel columns fail. The first is corrosion. High-rise construction columns have rebar inside, giving vertical strength and flexibility. On the outside, reinforcing spirals, most often steel as well. Those can get exposed, wet, and rusty, and that spreads. And if you see a little bit of corrosion, it doesn't mean it's there where you see it. It's actually a little bit to the left and to the right. In this paper, Pantelides tested that exact circumstance, finding steel spirals prone to corrosion and writing, this is of concern because when the spiral is corroded, the column loses confinement and fails in a brittle manner. Buildings in dry climates aren't immune to such damage. Think about treating icy roads. We use a salt water, the icing salt on the bridges. And so you'll be surprised that some parking garages in Utah actually have corrosion problems in the basement. Along with corrosion, Pantelides' expertise points to the possibility that shifting ground under the building could also have contributed to the catastrophic failure. It seems to me now the columns are starting to have a stability issue. Here, pictures from another study. Pantelides shifted the center of the weight pushing down on the columns, so the pressure was unequal. So if, if, if the load moves a little bit to the right, or to the left of the center of the column, then the capacity of the column starts to reduce almost proportionately. Like an aluminum can, try and crush it straight down, it holds a lot of weight. Put pressure to the side, the tragedy, the evidence was there, as was the expertise. So there is methods that we know how to repair. We just have to keep up the maintenance, that's all. Along with corrosion and instability, lateral pressure, like from an earthquake, is the third possible factor in collapses. That's important to us, less so in Florida. Now, Professor Pantelides also said there's another hard truth. Buildings have a lifespan, and sometimes the tough reality is repairs are not enough, and it's time to tear down and rebuild. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.